over the the surface of this one and we're gonna do a little mock ID after this. Alright? So let's start with the upper first. So it's upper, maxillary, first, second, or third? First. One. Cast a carabelli, number one right there. Okay? So we have how many casts? Five, Five casts. Alright, so we're gonna name it according to what it is. So what cast will be this one? Yes, two. You miss your buckle cast. Okay, that would be you miss your buckle cast. Okay, what would be this one? This to buckle. This would be your miss your lingual cast and your this to lingual cast. What would be this one? That's a kind of belt. All right. So now, if we have a cast, we have ridges. So we're gonna have four ridges for each cast, and we're gonna name it according to what it is on what cast it is. All right, so what class which will be this one? Close. Miss your class which of the miss your buckle class. Of the miss your buckle class. What will be this one? Of the miss your buckle class. There we go. What will be this one right here? Of the miss the lingo class. Okay, what would be this one right here? Distal cast reach of the mesial lingual cast. This is the distal cast reach of the mesial lingual cast. All right, what would be this one right here? Vocal cast reach of the mesial vocal cast. And what would be this one right here? Of the mesial lingual cast. This is the vocal cast reach or the mesial lingual cast. What would be this one right here? Lingual it's the lingual or the mesial lingual cast. Okay, so that's the lingual cast reach or the mesial lingual cast. All right. Now, if I go between the pits, what pit will be this one? Central. Central pit. This top pit. Okay, if I go between the central pit and my mesial pit all the way to the cast tip, that makes air. Triangular reach. So this is on the buckle, so that would be you. Okay, but it's on the missile. Miss your buckle triangular reach. It's fine. Miss your buckle triangular reach is fine. Or buckle triangular reach or the miss your buckle cast. Either one of the two is fine. Okay? And what would be this one right here between you stop speed all the way to this one? Perfect. Okay, so you're saying both ways. So that would be a triangular reach, it's on the distal buckle cast. Or vocal triangular reach of the distal buckle cast. That's correct. Okay? Everybody with me? Okay. What would be this one right here? Is the lingual? The yes, but now you're saying two already there, so this would be just lingual triangular reach of the distal lingual cast, or lingual triangular reach of the distal lingual cast. One more time. Lingual triangular reach of the ling distal lingual cast. Could you say triangular ridge of the lingual distal cast? Because the, 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 the lingual li of the distal lingual cast. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Or lingual or distal triangular reach of the distal cast. Okay. okay. All right, now, what would be this one right here? Lingua triangular reach? Or the missile lingua cast? Is it some lingua triangular? Yeah, why is it lingua triangular? Because it's on the lingua cast, because you're doing the triangular reach. Now, if you just did reach, that would be your buccal cast reach. But if I can have that from between the so two that's pits. That's why you want to say lingua once. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so if I have a big triangular between the pits, that make a triangular ridge. But if I have only a line right here, that make the cast ridge. All right? So that's going to go to where we have it between these two pits all the way to this one makes a triangular ridge. What triangular ridge would be this one? That would be your buckle triangular ridge or the mission buckle cast. And this is your lingual triangular ridge or the mission lingual cast. When you put the two triangular ridges together, it makes a transverse, transverse ridge. Now, on this side, we have a Buckle triangular reach on the distal buckle cast, and we have a. No. Nope. That's this is only. 
this is a ridge. What is it? It's a distal cash ridge of the mesolingual cast. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a triangular ridge on this side plus a cash ridge that makes it really rich. A oblique. Because it's coming from the triangular ridge on that one to the cash ridge of this one. So this is you, distal cash ridge of the mesolingual cast plus the triangular ridge on that one that makes the oblique ridge. So it's one triangular ridge plus a cash ridge makes a oblique ridge. Two triangular ridge makes a transverse ridge. Okay? Everybody with me? Was there a name to that one or it was just the oblique ridge? Oblique. It's just oblique. Oblique ridge. Okay. Oblique ridge. Okay, now if we have those, we have feet. Okay, so we have the feet already. And around the feet is a fasa. Okay? So if we have this one with you. Miss you because it's a little triangle on that side because it's around the margins, it makes a triangle of fasa. So that would be your miss you triangle of fasa. This would be your this triangle of fasa because you have a marginal ridge. This doesn't have any marginal ridge around, but it's a fasa. Why would be the name? Central fasa by itself. Okay, now we have another fasa here, it's not around any of the ridges. I mean, a marginal ridges. Well, what would be the fasa on this one? This top fasa, or because it's next to the oblique fasa. oblique fasa. So if you give me either oblique fasa or distal fasa, it's okay. But you give me triangular fasa, that one is wrong because the triangular fasa is already pin. Uh, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is one fasa and this is another fasa. The difference is that this is a triangular fasa because it's over the marginal ridge by the pit and this is over the oblique ridge on the distal side. And you use a fasa only. Okay, everybody with me? Mm. All right. So now we have feet, we have facets, we have grooves. So what groove will be this one right here? Central Central elemental groove, because you're coming from one pit to the other pit. Okay, now we're coming from this pit to this facet, so this is another groove. What's the name of this one? No. Close to it. again? No. Transverse groove of the oblique ridge. It's a transverse groove of the oblique ridge. Okay, so it's coming from this fascia to this fascia. That makes the transverse groove of the oblique ridge. Did you say this was central development or just central? No, it's just a, it's a transverse groove of only. No, 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 I meant the first one. I meant the first one. Oh, this one, yes, because it's coming from one pit to the other one. This is like central development group. Central development. Okay, but it doesn't go across. So it's got to be, you can name it like this, this, and this would be the, the central development group. But this one, just in between the two, that would be the transverse group. Okay? But the central elemental group would be the whole thing over here. Okay? Now, if this one is the transverse group of the oblique ridge, we have another group coming this way. What's the name of this group? Uh, the supplemental group? No, supplemental group is the extra ones that we have. Just Close the combination of the two. Distal oblique group. Okay, because it's on the distal side of the oblique ridge. And it's a groove, so this is the distal oblique groove. So it's coming from the speed over here only by the center where the distal fascia is or where the oblique fascia is. That's the, the distal <coughs> oblique groove is only. Now, if I come in from this top to this side, will be your... No, it's on this side. This one right here. It's just the lingual groove, because it's over here. But if I come in from the fascia all the way to this lingual side, that makes your lingual developmental group. Mm. Okay, because it's coming across from the crucial to the lingual side. But if I come in just in the crucial only, that would be your distal of the group only. Now from here to here, that would be your lingual group only. If I have it from one point to the other point, a big line right here, or across it, lingual developmental group. Everybody with me on that? Everybody? Mm -hmm. All right, because we're going to do the same thing on the vocal side. So we're coming from the pit. Okay, this is the pit, central pit. What would be this one right here? Just vocal group, because I'm coming just over here only. Okay, now what would be this one over here? It would be the same, same name. It's a vocal group of the central fossil. Vocal group of the central fossa. This is just the vocal groove. This is the vocal groove of the central fossa. Now, if I have a line from the pit all the way to this side, it will be you, vocal developmental group. Okay? Everybody with me? All right. Got that on.
<laughs> All right. Now we have one more, one more group that we need to know. That well, would be this one right here. Group of Carabelli. Or how many cast we have? Five. So this is the fifth cast. So this will be the group of the fifth cast. Or group of Carabelli. Either or, I accept. Okay. I know he actually uh, does, but I didn't hear what you said. Are we going to have a real tooth, and if it doesn't have the cost of the Carabelli? Okay, I'm going to try to have for, for uh, number three, first motors, to have the cost of Carabelli, or be barely there. At least you can see a little okay. groove in between. Okay? I don't have that many perfect ones, but I mean, I'll try to get the, the best one that I have. Okay? But that doesn't mean anything, because I mean, on the thermology, you can have a cost of Carabelli too. So you got to look at the other roots and marginal ridges and all the cast tips too. Okay. okay, and we're gonna do that on the next one. All right, so we okay with the upper? Mm -hmm. Let's move it to the lower. All right, on the lower. Left or right? Uh, right. Okay, why? It inclines towards the lingua. Inclines towards the lingua, but else, what else? You can see more of the buckle on the place also. Correct, so the initial is wider, the distal is a little bit rounder, so it's squeezing in. So that makes a right size. What two number will be? Two. Okay, two is an upper. Okay, 31 is a second. Okay, when you have, how many cars we have over here? Three. So it can be a first or a third. Okay, but not a second. Because a second is only have four cars. Okay, so if this has got three focal cars, it will be either a first or a third. Which one will be this one? 30. That would be number 30. Okay, why? Because we see all the anatomy and everything over there. If it's a third one, this this is going to be barely there, or it's going to be a lot of supplementary groups. A lot. A lot of them. Okay, and maybe you can have more than five casts. Okay? And you got to see two of how many roots you have and where the roots are, and how develop the roots are. All right, so if this is number 30, we have five casts. We're going to name the cast according to what it is. So what cast will be this one? It will be the distal lingua cast. No, that will be the mesial lingua cast. Mesial lingua cast. Distal lingua cast. Distal vocal cast. Distal cast. No vocal. Okay, this will be your. There we go. So now, when we have cast, we got ridges. So we're gonna name the ridges according to what it is on what cast it is. All right. So what will be this one right here? Perfect. Is the initial cast reach or the initial vocal cast? All right. Question. Or the initial vocal cast. What would be this one? Yes. Do we still have inclined planes? Yes, we do. Okay. So let's do it on this one. So if you have the triangular reach over here, this would be your inclined plane over here. Okay. So in between the pit to the point angle, point angle to the cast tip, that would be your inclined plane. Okay. okay. You have another inclined plane here. So that would be your distal. In vocal income plane of the mesial vocal cast because you have another mesial, I mean, another distal okay. vocal income plane of the distal vocal cast. Okay, and over here you have the developmental depressions. Okay, so that would be your mesial vocal developmental depression of the mesial vocal cast because you have another mesial vocal developmental depression of the distal vocal cast. Okay, all right, so. Go back to this one. So we have the cast tips, we have pits. How many pits we have? Three pits. This is a pit. And, okay, so every time we have a pit, we have a fossa. And we're gonna name it according to what it is. So what fossa will be this one? Inicio, triangle of fossa, because we have a marginal reach. Okay, what will be this one? Uh huh, and? Central fossa. Central fossa. All right. So now we have uh, grooves in between. What would be this one? Central ventral groove. What would be this one? Lingual development. developmental groove because I'm going across. Okay. Now what would be this one? Uh -huh. It's a boca group of, of the central fossa. And this would be your? That would be the distal. Oh, yeah. Distal buckle groove of the distal fossa. This will be you. 
means your buckle groove at the, uh, at the center of fastening because it's on the missile side. So this is the buck, means your buckle, and this one all together. Just a buckle groove. The other one. Uh, yeah, because it's coming across. Okay, so if I come in just this, this will be just you. This is the buckle groove. But if I go across, this is the buckle developmental groove. Okay, this by itself. This your buckle of the central fossa. And this one over here. Use your buckle group yeah. only. Now, if I come from the feet all the way across, buckle development group. Okay, everybody with me? Buckle? Yeah, because the missing is in the buckle side too. You have a, a miss your buckle and a distal buckle development group. Just like it's across. Okay, everybody with me? All right, now we have point angles too. What point angle would be this one? So the distal side, distal, buckle, occluso, pong angle of the missio buckle cast. Okay, this is your distal, buckle, pong angle of the missio buckle cast. I'm going to the Missio Buckle Cast. It's your Missio Pong, Missio, Missio Buckle Close Up Pong Angle of the Missio Buckle Cast. Okay? Everybody with me? What would be this one over here? Lingua Cast. Perfect. Perfect. Of the Distal Lingua Of the Distal Lingua Cast. Because you have a Missio Lingua Occluso. Pong angle of the missile lingual cast. Everybody with me? Okay. All right. Uh, sorry? Okay. It's like you have a premolar. On the premolar, let's divide this one in two. That's a premolar. You have a cast tip, you have four pong angles. So you have one on each side. Okay, now you have a molar. It's that like you have two premolars together. So that's a one premolar, a second premolar. So you have a cast, one, two pong angles, one, two pong angles. So when you wax in, you come in. From the line angle to the front angle, from the cast switch. So you have in context on all of the same thing over here, line angle over here, front angle, front angle to the cast switch. Okay? All right, now, roots. How many roots do we have on the upper? Three. On the upper, three. Which one is the biggest? The palatal. Which one is the second biggest? Mucio, buckle. On the lower? Two roots. Which one is the biggest? The mucio. All right? And what will be this one right here? CJ. Now that would be CJ, but if I have the whole mark over here, that would be the root trunk. All right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up a, a mock ID. So we're gonna do by groups of 16s, and we're gonna go over. And then if you have any questions, we can go over. If you have any problems, say which one up or not. Which one? The pit, like in here? Like the pit? Yeah. No. But the, okay. This will be the pit, on this one will be this triangular fossa, because it's next to the marginal ridge. So this will be just this distal fossa, like it is on this one over here. Okay. Okay? If you have next to a marginal ridge, it's a triangular fossa. If it's in between, it's just a fossa. This will be a central fossa and distal fossa. Central fossa and distal fossa. Same thing over here, central fossa here. Distal or uh, occlusal fossa or Oblique fast. Okay? Any other questions? All right.